pretty awesome, right? I can tell you one thing, it is completely free, it's wirelessly, and most importantly, it's easy. Sure, there is a tiny bit of lag, but that's about it. It's pretty awesome, right? Well, let's dive right into it. Hey, what is up everybody? I'm Riz and welcome to the channel. Today, I'll show you how you can Chromecast your iPhone, any iPhone by the way, to your TV. Completely free and it's completely wirelessly. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Let's start right into it. All right, couple things before we start. First off, we need a connection, okay? So, you have a couple options. Go to the settings. Now, you have the option for the Wi-Fi. You can use the Wi-Fi if you have if you have Wi-Fi available at your home, or let's say if you don't have Wi-Fi, you can also use the personal hotspot option, okay? To enable that, you need to open the uh, mobile data option. By the way, be careful before turning on the mobile data. It's not free, it's gonna cost you credit, okay? So just be, be careful. Okay, so once the uh, mobile data is running, you should have the option to enable the personal hotspot. So just go inside and click on open, click on it, and click on allow others to join. That way you have your hotspot running in the background, okay? So once it's running, once it's up and running, all we need to do now is to download a replica, download an app called Replica, okay? So just go to the Play Store, go to the Play Store and type, and type Replica. By the way, don't worry, all the links will be in the description box below, okay? So I've done this before, I'm not gonna do it again, okay? All right, so once you download the app, that is pretty much it. That's all we need to do on the iPhone. Now let's jump to the TV and let's do this. All right, this is a 11 years old Samsung TV and this is not a Android TV, okay? So keep that in mind, all right? Okay, so on your TV, go to the uh, settings page, go all the way down to the network settings. Now, if you have done this before, go to the network status. And if you have never done this before, go to the network settings. Just want to clear some things out. By the way, this TV does support Wi-Fi connection, okay? But if your TV does not support that, you can also use cable, Ethernet cable if you want to. Or if your TV doesn't support any kind of a connection, you need to buy something like Roku Express dongle or even Chromecast dongle or even Fire Stick TV even fire tv stick so this one does support wi-fi connection okay so go to the network settings and here you have options as i said before if you don't have wi-fi you can always use your mobile hotspot if it if it's running in the background if it's running in the background all you need to do is just click refresh all right so there you go i have my wi-fi and i have my hotspot that is running from my iPhone. So you have multiple options, okay? So if you don't have Wi-Fi, you can always use your mobile hotspot, but be careful, again, this will cost you credit depending on your mobile network, okay? So for the sake of this tutorial, my TV is connected to my Wi-Fi and that is it. And that is pretty much it. Just close down, exit, and that's it. Okay, now let's do this. All right, so the TV is connected. The iPhone is connected to the same network as the TV is. We have downloaded the Replica app. We are all set and done. All we need to do now is to Chromecast the iPhone and that's it. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so the most important part is to make sure your iPhone and your TV are on the same network, okay? That is really, really important. Otherwise, it won't work. So for example, I am on mobile data, so I'm just gonna connect my iPhone to my Wi-Fi and uh, I'm gonna disable my mobile data. That way I am on the same network as my TV is, okay? Now what you wanna do is to open the Replica app. And when you open the app, it will automatically scan all the TVs that are running in the background that are on the same network, okay? So I have my TCL TV, I have my Samsung TV, as you can see in the background, they're both every single one are on the same network that's why it will automatically scan all the tvs that are on your network okay so i have my samsung by the way just listen by the way look closer okay i'm gonna give you a pro tip every time you click on your tv it's gonna ask you to buy it all right and i said before it's a free app it's absolutely free if you look closer to the top right corner 
there is a exit icon. I'm going to show you again and again so you could understand. OK, you have the exit icon. All you need to do is just press that and will automatically exit the purchase screen. OK, so hold on. Let me show you. So you have the exit icon. Just click on it and we'll ask you that you want to ignore the offer. Just click ignore the offer. That's it. That's how you do it. See, pretty, pretty simple, right? I'm going to show you again. OK, I'm going to show you again. So go back to the main screen. OK, this is the uh, all right. So go back to the main screen. This is the screen. I'm going to click on my Samsung. It's going to ask me to buy it. Right. I don't want to buy it. But if you look closer to the top right corner, you have the option to escape it. There you go. It's just you could all you need to do is just wait eight seconds and that's it. So once that's done, just click on OK exit and that's it. Bam. We are back. That's it. It's actually that simple. I've seen a lot of people complaining in the comment section below that it is not free, but it is free. <laughs> I mean, I've been using it for as long as I remember, and that's how you do it. So once you're on this screen, all you need to do is to click on start broadcast. It's going to wait three seconds and bam, we are connected. There you go. As you can see in the background, <laughs> we are connected. Just give it like a few seconds, depending on how fast your network actually is. So uh, mine is really, really slow. That's why it's really like out there. <laughs> but that's it. That is it. That is pretty much it. Pretty, pretty awesome, right? Sure, it is a bit laggy, but it is completely free. It is wirelessly. And what more you need, <laughs> right? Pretty, pretty awesome, right? By the way, if you want to stop this, it's pretty, pretty simple. You can see the icon. You can see the red icon at the top left corner, right? All you need to do is just click on it. And it's going to ask you to stop the broadcast. That's it. If you want to stop this, just click on stop. If you don't, just click cancel and it automatically stopped in the background as well. Pretty, pretty awesome, right? You have a lot of options. You can view photos. You can view, you can watch, you can view photos. You can watch videos. You can even listen to music if you want to. That is it. All right, so that was pretty, pretty awesome, right? And I can tell you it was pretty easy. By the way, if you have any questions, do let me know in the comment section below. I will definitely, definitely get back to you. Okay. By the way, if you want to buy the replica app, you can use the code Riz to get a special to get a special discount. That's it for me. Leave a like, leave a like, subscribe if you want to. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.